Here we are with uh, Josecito Lopez. Josecito, oh, yeah. just uh, witnessed you training today. You actually no. seem like you're training for a fight. Do you know something we don't know? <laughs> no, I just know I'm fighting in March. Uh, you know, I'm getting ready for a March date. You know, uh, it's been a little while since I've been uh, I've been in the ring, so uh, getting ready for a March date, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll we'll be finding out soon uh, who we're against. Well, last year, you know, you had two warm-up fights, one in the Fantasy Springs, the other one in, I believe, in the Hard Rock. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Two warm-up fights, tune-ups, a lot of people tuned in, a lot of people saw, you know, they wanted to see how you were going to come back after the Madonna, you know, loss and everything. Looking forward to you, to this year for you, because, you know, you fight big names, you're a fan-friendly fighter, you have an amazing style that attracts people. Who do you want to fight this year? You know what? I, I want to fight exciting fighters. I, I'm an exciting fighter myself. Uh, you know, I, I want to please the fans and make everyone happy. Um, I think the the best comes out of me when I fight really good fighters. And uh, you know, what better than to fight another exciting fighter? So any top exciting fighter, you know, there's a lot of champs. There's a lot of good fighters in the welterweight division. So I'd be willing to fight uh, a lot of them. Big news that came out this week was obviously the announcement of the Al Heyman NBC Alliance. You are an Al Heyman fighter, and obviously Al Heyman fighters are going to benefit from this. You've already seen that Molina is getting Broner, Thurman and Guerrero was made, Peterson versus Garcia was made. You believe your fight's going to be on NBC or NBC Sports coming in March? Obviously, you did say the March date. A lot of people might be thinking you might end up on that Broner, Molina, Guerrero, Thurman card. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I'm an Al Heyman fighter, and uh, he's doing a lot of good things for, for, the, for his fighters, so... Uh... You know, I, I expect myself to be on an NBC uh, uh, network, so uh, I'm excited, you know. Uh, <clears throat> this is a year where all the good, exciting fights are going to be made and, and, and bring a lot of people back uh, to some excitement, to some good fights, some, some fights that you'll remember for years. So I'm excited to be a part of it. You just said Al Heyman does well for his fighters. You know, a lot of people out there, boxing fans, people on the outside, they don't really know or they have this opinion of Al Heyman. Clarify that opinion, you know, clarify what your thoughts are on Al Heyman and what good he's done for you and how he's benefited your career. Uh, Heyman, he's uh, for the fighter. That's all I can say. He's for the fighter. Um, you know what? The exciting fights are going to come. They will always be there. But he knows, you know, when you have to take a step back and you still make money and when you're ready for big fights or, or, or not, you know. So uh, he's got the ability to make any any fight possible, and uh, it looks like one of the biggest fights uh, will be possible, and a big thanks to him, too. So uh, uh, he's, he's got the power to make all the big fights happen, and anybody on Al Heyman's team, no fighters complaining with him, so uh, all the fighters are happy, and, and there's a reason for that.